In Scotland and England, there were pit bull type dogs that were used for bear baiting and um, for bull baiting as well. And what that meant, and this is very in interesting to talk about, um, this is in the late 1800s at the time when we were hanging witches, um, just to give you perspective on the types of people and their mindset at the time. Um, but at this time, they were using pit bull type dogs to get bulls to be fearful. And when they had bulls in a fearful state, the butchers believed that that helped break, raise their blood in a certain way that when they butchered the meat, the, the meat was supposed to be uh, more tender. However, as a lot of meat eaters know, that actually makes them the meat more firm. But at the time, it was actually the law. If you were a butcher, you had to have a dog that was fearfully putting these bulls into this situation, and then the bulls would go about um, in their fearful state, but a lot of these dogs were killed. And then they realized that um, they could put these dogs into certain situations where they were fought. And that was very unfortunate because, again, lots of dogs were killed. Um, a lot of dogs were maimed and injured. And um, uh, this is essentially abuse. And so at the time, people were also um, pretty poor. And they were worrying about, you know, how are they going to put food on their tables? And this became a thing that people found as a sport. And they thought it was something that could be... Um, productive um, financially, unfortunately. And then uh, pit bull fighting, or fighting in general, was eventually frowned upon, and so they, had, they started using um, what they called ratters, or there were dogs that would basically go into bars and focus on getting rid of the rats, and that's how they developed the rat terrier, interestingly enough. Somebody named Joseph Colby came over to the United States and brought these dogs with him, and he essentially, it's believed, um, started the lineage of pit bull type dogs in America.